everyone. Hope you're having a great day. My name is Yadira. Today I do have a product review on a Louis Vuitton handbag. The handbag that I am talking about today is the Trevi in the PM size. Um, this is in the Damir Ebim canvas and this is what the handbag looks like. So um, that's the handbag that I'll be reviewing today. Um, it's actually the handbag that I am currently using. So I'll show you just a little bit of what I have inside as well as I have a few items off to my side of um, what can fit and what you can carry and all that good stuff. So if you are interested in this handbag, um, please continue to watch. Also, if you are new or returning to my channel, please consider subscribing and also interact with me in the comments as I would love to hear from you. So very briefly, um, the handbag was just continued from Louis Vuitton in 2015 so if you are interested in the handbag I will link some good alternatives from the pre-love market probably from Fashion Fall because that is where I actually got my handbag from I was not able to get it in store uh, right around the time that I knew that it was going to be discontinued it was nearly impossible for you to get your hands on it and plus I couldn't just walk into the Louis Vuitton um, store and walk out with I think at the time it was $2,300 right before it was discontinued continued so that plus tax I could not do it not as a college student anyway so since then it was one of the handbags that I really really wanted in my collection and I knew that I would enjoy because I do like top handle bags and I do like handbags that are rather medium size not so much the mini and this one kind of just fit all the bells and whistles that I wanted and plus it's, it's just very luxurious and as I go through the handbag you'll see what I mean um, or at least I'll, I'll let you know what it is that, that pulled my attention towards this handbag. This handbag did come in two different sizes. It came in the PM size as well as the GM and also it did not come in the other canvas styles. It only came in the Damir bin. However, if you have one, let me know because I was um, just interested in the handbag maybe three ish years right before they discontinued um so i'm not too sure on that and it's been some time right so i am going to get started with showing you what it is that i have in the bag first and then going through the details as well as what we can fit inside um so this is what it looks like in the inside i personally don't really carry much on a day-to-day -day basis if i was using this for work which i work from home um it would be a little bit more loaded but this is pretty much what i have and let's see so right off the back just a receipt um, paper right so putting that off to the side I have my wallet which I don't have a large wallet um, I went to my sister's house the other day and she gifted me this so I have yet to put that away so I'm gonna put that off to the side to finally take it out I have my um, key clay here or my six key holder I have my car key um, I have a mask and yes I just have it thrown in there um, it is clean don't you worry um, see it does have glitter because of my my little makeup bag it has glitter that comes loose um, and here I just have very quick essentials I'm not gonna go through that but it is a small little bag so that is what I have in there and then I also have another makeup bag this was actually a part of the MAC like lip set for 2020 and this is what I have. I still have the little thing there. I got that as a gift last year. And then mine has two pockets. Um, there is another style. Well, not another style, but there is another. I don't know when they stopped making it, but there is one that has a pocket and like a lipstick holder. So that is authentic as well but mine has two slip pockets which actually I kind of prefer um, I think whenever I was looking at this first I wanted one with the lipstick holder on there but this is the one that I ended up finding now that it's empty we can kind of see the inside is um, the microfiber lining and here is off to the side you might be able to see right here there is like a little d-ring hook and then like i said mine does have two pockets right here it does not have a zipper off to the side so it's just you know a plain wall on the opposite side and then the inside is is literally just a deep pocket there is no dividers you can see a little bit more with the light um, there is no divider whatsoever in here. One of the things that I would say is because it is microfiber lining, 
whenever I do put up my handbag, I use the uh, lint roller sheets or either tape to kind of get in around all the surface of the handbag before putting it away. Like I said, my little makeup bag that I have, let's go glitter. You might not be able to see it, but there is very tiny specks in there that you can, um, you know, scratch off. Um, it is not delicate by no means, but still I want to preserve my handbag as much as possible. So just with the lint roller, mine is a 2014 handbag. So I got mine in 2019, so about two years ago now, and I was very surprised in the condition that it was in. Literally, whoever owned this handbag did not use it, and I have no idea why because it is one of my favorite handbags. You know, you have the rivets, you have even the little, I don't know what you call these, the little hooks. And even like the little class on here, it's it's a, such shiny, shiny brass, um, even here. And then it does have feet. Uh, one of the very few handbags that do have feet. I actually have little plastic um, stickers on mine. It does come with feet, so it's a bonus either way. And now that I'm showing you the bottom, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you my wear here. So it's pretty much, in excellent condition if you ask me um, there's no corner wear at least on my handbag right here is the opposite end so there's that and then it does have pleat details on all the corners pleat here a bigger one in the center and then one on the other side and then in the back is exactly the same small pleat there Another one in the center and then one right here and um, this is just flat. There's no um, pleat or anything. Right here it does have a small trim but it is not a pocket by any means. Uh, on the side it does have another pleat and then as well as over here. If you are looking at this handbag in the pre-love market and the pictures look rather flat, um, don't let that deter you because you can um, puff up the pleats again and what I mean by that is I can show you here so this one's a little bit flat so okay so sometimes this will happen where you know with use you hit something or whatever and it goes inside you can definitely take it out um, with no problem so you can fluff out the bag again and it would be just fine so you can also do that with the sides so if you are seeing some picture where it's just like flat like a pancake just know you can do that um, just stick your hand on the inside and push out the walls of the canvas to fluff it back up but anyways just a little tip there um, mine does come with a strap whenever I was looking online sometimes and this one was not available I mean it, it the bag came by itself but it didn't come with an actual strap so this strap is very weighty it's very hefty very I mean you cannot find this quality at Louis Vuitton anymore. You know, so just sharing with you, you know, this handbag is very well made. Um, right up here, there is a Louis Vuitton stamp. It is a little bit faint on mine. Um, of course, it is six, seven years old now. It does come with a large chunky zipper. And here I do have a protector as well. But literally, if I was to take this off, there's no scratches there. And then, of course, with this too, very well. Like I said, whoever owned this obviously did not like the bag, but I am grateful because I was not able to get it brand new and still was able to get it used with brand new condition, in my opinion. Um, so this top is a leather. Of course, this is leather and this little tab is leather as well as the handle but of course this the canvas is not so don't think you're getting an all leather handbag um the only wear that i might have in my purse is like in the inside of here i'll try to show just a little bit um you can't really tell but that's basically the only wear that i have here not even my handles my handles are phenomenal like okay so i do have two spots right here but other than that, the glazing is still intact. And there's a little bit of like a crease right here, if you can see. But other than that, still in great condition. 
So the handbag by itself, it of course it's canvas, so it's not too weighty as if it was to be leather. However, um, it is just slightly weighty because this is thick and of course you can remove that and eliminate that extra weight. But the handles are also very well made and can contribute to the weight just so slightly. Like I said, I don't really carry too, too much on a day to day basis. I did show you what I had in there already. So it's a very comfortable handbag. If you are considering it, do kind of look at your handbag currently and see what it is that you carry in there. If you're going to have this on a day to day basis, I would recommend to make sure you find one with this strap or if you do already have a Louis Vuitton strap then of course it's probably not going to be a must. For me the whole handbag needed to be in perfect condition for me to buy it and it did take me such a long time to find one in this condition because it does have that microfiber lining. Some of it had odor, some of it was just it looked like wet or just very well worn. Um, it took me years right? Um, so what else can I tell you? Okay, so if you do get one with a strap, do know that you can, as, as you wear it, of course, you're going to create like a little indention right here. I don't know if you can see it, just so minor. You're going to create that. Um, but I like to use this as a shoulder bag. Um, but my most favorite way to use it is as a top handle. And like I was saying, all of these gold details, this is the bag that I wear pretty much like on a fancy night out because all of this, it looks very different. For one, not a lot of people have it, right? So it's very different than seeing like a Speedy out on the street. I don't recognize this bag as much. And nearly every single time that I carry this bag, someone is turning their head looking at the bag or someone is asking me something about the bag or complimenting the bag. This bag is very feminine because of the pleats and all of the um, shiny detail. In person, it, you, it shines way more than it does on camera, I'm sure. Um, and just like the hefty hardware here on the side is very girly. And of course, the top handle is a classic sil silhouette for your handbag and just the strap is an added bonus. But with all of its beauty, of course, it has to have a con somewhere. And for me personally, I would say it would be the opening. If you can see um, right here, it doesn't lay as straight as this one. It does have a small curve. And if I show you open the front, you might see it just a little bit more. There's a little bit of a bump there. Whereas on the other side, it's just plain, flat, smooth, just how it should be. And that is from opening the bag, right? Because it is narrow at the top compared to the base, you will have to open it stretched just a little bit for one, just to get light in the bag and be able to see the bag and the content inside just a little bit more. And, and two, just to get in and out, right? You may or may not be able to get away with not creating this crease. With the two years that I've owned it, it doesn't bother me whatsoever. Just to con, just in case you're wondering, the top can be a little bit restricted, so you might have to pull it apart a lot. Um, you can't do this as well. Use the ends and kind of push it in, um, but that's just totally up to you. I just feel like it might happen anyways, and sometimes whenever I do have my handbag like off to the side in the passenger seat, sometimes I will like just grab it like this and go on, or you know if I do have the strap I'll try to grab it like this but um, it does happen um, another thing because of the size you might bump into things because it's rather big but it's not that much bigger than the base of a never full right it is just slightly bigger than a speedy and I'll show those towards the end just to kind of compare the sizes I will say this canvas it's, it's much sturdier and heftier than the canvas you'll find nowadays just FYI <laughs> So I do have a little tape measure with me right here. So I'm going to go ahead and give you the dimensions and all that good stuff. So the strap is adjustable. It does have five holes where you can brace it or lower it. I do have it in the medium setting for both of the sides. So just looking at the very tip of the bag or the entrance, it is about an eight inch drop. So if you have it in the medium setting, this is what you're looking at. So you have an 8 inch drop as a shoulder bag. Longer handle than a speedy. So it is 6 inches. You may not be able to see that. But it is 6 inches right there. And so the top comes out to be about 11 or 11 and a half. So it's a little bit hard. So about 11 and a half. And then the base 
So I'm only doing from edge to edge. So keep in mind the pleats do come out. I'm not going to measure that because you can't really stick anything in the pleats and they're not pockets like I mentioned. So the base is about 13. Okay, so... So the base is about 13 and a half inches and that is pretty much all the dimensions that I would like to know about um, or I guess the width, I can measure the width and the width you can play around with just a little bit. So it's about seven, seven and a half ish. And of course if you just do the base itself, uh, it does shrink down. I just pulled out some random items that I think that you might consider in your handbag. The first one being, and the most important to me anyways, is a um, bottle of water. So this it does fit. It goes in just fine. And you can stand it up or you can lay it down. It fits just fine. And this is just a regular size water bottle. The 16.9 fluid ounces. That goes in just fine. Of course, an iPad mini does fit in. So it goes in just as fine and it's slender so you can fit it in either at the base or standing however. If you are like me and you do have a um, an intense, so this is, as sometimes whenever I go to like the dentist, I like to take this with me just while I'm in the waiting area. And of course it goes in just fine and it, you can't see it because it's black. So it does go in and it does give you a lot more room just because it is also slim, kind of like the iPad. So in here I have a book, um, just in case you're wondering, this is part of the selection series, young adults, very romantic-ish novel. So just in case you're interested, I'll put information on this at the bottom. But of course it does fit just fine. So there we go, comes in, comes out. and. Similar to the Nintendo and to the iPad, you can stand it up or lay it down. If you do lay it down, there is a little bit of a like a difference right here. So it doesn't completely go from edge to edge. So if in case you have a book, um, just to know that the inside is this plus just a little bit more. Okay, so you can fit a sweater. This is actually a scarf. I got like one of those wrapped scarves that are kind of chunky just to kind of mimic like if I was to have a sweater as well, but this is a scarf. So this, of course, because it's squishy, you can squeeze it in here. And it fits just fine. Of course, I picked something that is dark so you can't really tell. I have a, an umbrella, so a compact umbrella. Of course, fit it in the side and it fits in there. You still have a lot more room to put your things off to the side of the umbrella without any problem. And I did have a whole bunch of receipts and um, some gift cards off on the side. So you can fit, I have a gift card here. You can fit a card, let me show you. So you can fit the card laying down, right? It slips in just fine. And of course, standing. So you can fit it like that as well and you have space so um, both of these pockets if you do get this version or if you do find this version in the pre-love market both of these pockets are actually identical in size so about the width or the length of a card and pushed all the way down and there is probably like two ish inches still remaining for me to be able to use and like a size reference of the pocket Pockets. Um, of course, one of the pockets, um, let me see if I can show you. So one of the pockets does have the little flap with the day code on there, just like, you know, the Louis Vuittons that do have the day code, not the microchip, because this one, of course, the microchip is new, so this one did not have that. Um, I did show at the beginning the made in stamp is off to the side there. Mine says it is made in France. And then I'm going to show you some popular items. Um, I have here the pochette accessories. I don't have the toiletry in the 19 size. Um, I did pull mine in the 26 size. So just in case you have this, I'm going to just show you this first. You can fit it in, but 
it's stuck <laughs> so unless you're gonna have it open um, it doesn't fit so like I said I don't have the 19 size but I do have the pochette accessories so if in case you do have this of course you can slip it in and and there you have it so mine's like laying flat in there hope you can see it um, it's laying flat in there but yes you can bring it in and even like with this full length you can take it out like this but just kind of be mindful the zipper is going to scratch it so if you do put it in I would recommend to just lift it bring it in an angle and pull it out just because it's gonna be easier so if you do own the toilet tree in the 19 size I'm holding the wrong item if you do own this in the 19 size um, just know it's 19 centimeters so this is I think like 23 ish centimeters so you can fit it you know I just showed you that this one goes in and out just fine so if you have the 20 we have the 19 it fits so there's that and then I have um, just some sunnies here I usually use the d-rings inside of my purses for like my sunglasses when I am traveling I will hook on like the um, pochette accessories strap there just want to show you that you can use it on the hook of course mine is you know a little bit of a thicker edge right here so it does it, it stops like up to here if you do have some with the side legs about slimmer or skinnier kind of like a, a ray-ban they'll fit just fine and then lastly i did have a neverfull pouch um just in case you do own the neverfull uh, i know that a lot of people like using this as an actual standalone wallet so just in case you're curious um you can fit it in like this you can fit it in like this as well but i will just be mindful with the zipper and the glazing on your actual piece here so you can do it like this and actually I would probably recommend to use a different wallet because it kind of hits like a corner here you see it hits a corner so you kind of uh, actually no <laughs> I wouldn't recommend using this as a wallet if you have this um, so use something different kind of like mine I have the um, key pouch the umprint key pouch and of course this will slip it fits I'm gonna move on over to doing some more mini shots I will do the bag by itself as well as I guess with the speedy and then I do have the never full because I know that's another um, popular handbag and because I do use this as a shoulder bag I'll compare and show you both so let's move on to that Okay, so very quickly, I did forget to show um, a cell phone. So I do have the iPhone 12 Pro and you, I just throw it in there to be honest, um, but it fits. So you can put it in there and there, if you have the larger one, um, it, you know, there is a little bit of a wiggle room there and you can probably see the spacing right there. So you could probably fit the bigger one, the Max, or even like the, the 13, I'm assuming. So mine does have the case. So of course, if, you know, if it's even better without it. Um, but yep, that is how it looks in there. And while I'm here, I can show you the beautiful red microfiber interior in here but yep that's pretty much what I carry on a day-to-day -day basis um, probably just adding a water bottle but yep 
that's my handbag. So that's pretty much the ins and outs of this handbag in my opinion. It's, it's a gorgeous handbag. I have no idea why they discontinued it. I guess it wasn't popular at the time. I do not think I will be selling it anytime soon. It is one of those bags that it took me such a long time to get and once I got it I was like yes it was like that golden piece and because of the way it's constructed and how beautiful and luxe the interior and the hardware is on this handbag i can tell that it's gonna be able to reach the 10 year mark 15 and maybe even 20 but it's it's a beautiful handbag and it's nothing that you can see louis vuitton making they don't really make handbags with a lot of detail like this if they do it's detail with like leather or even like printed graphics right like the handbags now are not what they used to be some years ago from the fashion house i think you might be able to agree with me on that point definitely do look into this bag if you are looking for quality and you are a fan of the speedy or top handles or you want this bag in general i would say keep searching for that perfect one because they'll come your way so soon just don't give up on it they're gorgeous turns heads anywhere man and woman so i know holding it like this is probably not giving it the the best beauty that it is but it's definitely very gorgeous and beautiful to look at if you have any questions or there's anything that i miss covering that you are wondering about please let me know if you just want to hang out and chat in the comments section feel free as well as give me your rating and if you've made it this far thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me and i hope you'll subscribe i'll see you next time goodbye